What's going on YouTube? Stealing Likes here and you guys have caught me once again handing the cookie jar out here trying to snatch me some likes. Bringing you guys another randomizer matchup tonight because I want to bring more new Pokemon into this. Unfortunately, I didn't get any new numbers or at least numbers that would correspond to Pokemon you haven't seen before. I got 4, 19, 36, 39, 21, and 12, which translates to Arcanine, Kabutops, Donphan, Shuckle, Tornadus, and Jellicent. Now I'm going to hit that challenge button. Obviously, some of these Pokemon you guys haven't seen in a while. I mean, Arcanine hasn't been out of the box in a bit. Tornadus hasn't been out of the box in a little while. Jellicent rears its head every once in a blue moon almost, but all legitimate pokes in my opinion. So we're going to see what we can get going. Obviously, oh, you guys can't see my, my rating. Last night after I got done battling, I actually hopped on Battle Spot and did some work on my ranking a little bit because I don't like doing the lower rank battles. So I just hopped on with some pokes. One of them you haven't seen before. I was hoping you'd get to tonight. But right now we're going up against Ben, who has Trevenant, Staraptor, Blastoise, Nidoking, Klefki, and Machamp. Now, this is a real mixed bag for me, as... I mean, I'm looking at, more likely than not, Mega Blastoise, alongside Staraptor, Wouldn't Appreciate Kabutops, Nidoking might not appreciate Kabutops, although, honestly, Jellicent could probably do equally as great against it. Actually, Jellicent would do better against it. I'm clearly bringing Jellicent. I don't know about Donphan, though. I mean, Donphan has something for Klefki, but that appears to be it. You know what, I'll bring Donphan, because I feel like Klefki's coming. I'll bring Jellicent... Arcanine and Donvan, since there seem to be a couple physical hitters in here. Although Arcanine would not do all that well. Tornadus, no electric types. Yeah, we'll go with a Tornadus lead, since it's a regenerator, followed up by Donvan and Jellicent. Because I don't really want to bring Shuckle due to that Blastoise right there. He's kind of scary. So that's what we'll go with. <laughs> Did it in under a minute, I think. Uh, 40 seconds left. I think that's about a minute and a half. Is that how long you get? I'm not sure. But bringing in this fun one tonight, I really don't know what I'm going to do about Machamp. He was the real curious one there. Also, what abilities does Machamp have? I don't recall. So Klefki does come. It leads against my Tornadus. Now, if I had to guess, I would say that Klefki is going to paralyze here. So my best bet would be to swap in a Don fan. I mean, it could put up a screen. However, I really expect a T-Wave. So I'm just going to get that out of the way. Find out real quick. Yep, goes for the Thunder Wave. Don fan doesn't care. Long Nose don't care. Or is that not how it goes? <laughs> Going for the Earthquake now. They might switch. Yeah, they do swap on me. However, I don't think they... You no, know, they brought Star Raptor, so they do have a Flyer. But instead, they switch into Blastoise. Now, Blastoise is going to take this Earthquake like a pro. Ooh, that's not bad. Now, the question comes down to, nah, i got to keep Donphan around for that Klefki. So, I'm actually going to swap into Jellicent. Because it's going to resist water, it's going to resist ice. Those would be the two main things I'm looking at coming from Blastoise. But now my opponent knows all three of my Pokemon. Which is moderately unfortunate, however, it could be worse. It could be much, much worse. So, think about throwing down a burn on this thing. It goes for the water pulse. Yeah, I don't care. <laughs> so, actually, that did way more damage than I expected. Ah, it's a crit. I curse body the water pulse. So, I could quite possibly come back out with Donphan now due to that curse body. Is that what I really want to do, though? Yeah, Jellicent doesn't really pack a lot. I could go for the Will-O-Wisp, but thinking about the... Oh, it's got a Dark Pulse. I know it's got a Dark Pulse. So, I'm going to swap... Do I swap back into Donphan? Donphan wouldn't take the Dark Pulse well. Tornadus? I'll swap over into Tornadus. Tornadus can take the hit. So, just doing a lot of switching around right here. Something that I've stop doing in recent months. I haven't been switching all as often as I used to. Now this, I mean, it's going to do a hefty chunk. 
gets me to eat up my citrus berry. However, acrobatics now kicks in. And a stab acrobatics might do well enough to kill. I'm going to try it out. So, I am faster than the Blastoise. Do I kill? I do. So, Mega Blastoise out of the way. Not a problem anymore. I don't really expect Clef Key quite yet. Because it gives me an advantage to switch. Although my opponent might not know that. They might not foresee the Regenerator. No, they go straight away into Nidoking. King. Nidoking King is a problem. Because I'm pretty sure it has Poison Point. I don't really want Tornadus Poisoned. So what to go for here? I think... Yeah, I'm just going to go for the U-turn. And... Oh, it's faster. That's no good. A non-stab Ice Beam. Does it kill? Oh, it kills. That's a no good time. So now I'm going to switch out into... Well, I'm not switching out. My opponent, <laughs> my Pokemon's dead. I'm going to go into Jellicent here. I mean, I'm not afraid of the Ice Beam. I'm not afraid of the Earth Power. It's probably got something poisonous, and it's got something else. It could be could be a Shadow Ball. That could go well. <laughs> Sarcastically go well. Now, I'm going to go for the Will-O-Wisp. Just so I open up some new options. Oh, they're going to switch into Clef Key for me. So they don't want Nidoking in against Jellicent. Jellicent does get off the burn. Which makes me want to stick around, although there's no reason that I should sacrifice Jellicent to a Paralysis. There's, there's no excuse for that at all. Now, going to switch back out into Donphan. Just in case. I mean, they might go for like a, what is it, Moonlight? Moonblast? Something. They might go for something here. However, I'm not too terribly concerned with it at the moment. They go for Swagger. Oh, I am all right with that. I think I got a 1 in 3 chance of hitting myself. It's not like I'm killing myself anytime soon. And all they did was just give me more fire power on this one. Now, an Earthquake at plus 2 is going to kill Klefki. And it might even kill that Nidoking. So we're going to try it out. Just go straight into the Earthquake. Klefki uses a Tract. Now that is unfortunate. However, I might be able to break through. I fall in love. I'm confused. Okay, so I guess I'm immobilized by love. I don't get a chance to hit here. Klefki obviously being the problem that it loves to be, but Klefki will die over time. And I don't necessarily have to have Don Fan as long as Klefki goes down, so I can stall out turns waiting for the Earthquake to come up. Sorry you guys have to watch the fun... T oh, that's a foul play. That's a dirty trick there, Klefki. However, Don Fan, not all that strong at the moment. Now, I do get the Earthquake off. Let's see how well this goes. Yep, that is a kill. Klefki is out of the picture, and the Attract is now gone. So, Nidoking looking to come in. An Ice Beam from Nidoking is going to hurt my feelings. I do know that much. However, all I can hope is that my Quick Claw activates. That's what I'm going to do. Unless I go for the Ice Shard. Ice Shard, Quick Claw. I could also go for a Knock Off. Knock Off wouldn't be half bad. But I'm going to go for the Stab Earthquake. I'm looking for damage over anything else. My Quick Claw does activate. All I have to do is hope I don't hit myself. I snap the Confusion. And Nitto King is as good as done. So, got to win in the first round. Uh, going up 2-0, I believe. Now, you guys make sure to sit tight. I will be back in five seconds with battle number two. Back for round two already. Hit that challenge button. We're going to see exactly what we can get going down in this one. Now, last game, I actually got kind of lucky there. At least I feel like it because I broke through that confusion really quickly. That being the key concern whenever it comes to Stolly Klefki. I'm sure you all know how much of a fan I am of that. But going against someone from Japan, I'm not going to pretend to know how to say that one either. Now, they brought Greninja Rotom, Mian Shao, Mawile, Reuniclus, and Talonflame. Now, obviously, Reuniclus is a threat. Anybody who's heard me talk about G-Dog's Reuniclus, uh, if you haven't seen it, uh, he runs it on Showdown. Make sure to check it out. It's a great Pokemon. 
However, I do know the holes in this Pokemon as well. Now, I could bring along Donphan. Donphan should be able to handle the Reuniclus. It might be able to do a thing or two against Talonflame. However, I don't expect it to live much. Rotom. Rotom is a different question, though. Because Rotom is packing so little, so very few problems. Now, Donphan Kabutops feels about right here. The major question becomes, what am I going to do about that Mianxiao and Greninja? Because I could go with Jellicent. Jellicent feels kind of safe. I could go with... Actually, that Mawile is really dangerous, now that I'm looking at it. Mawile Arcanine. Mawile Arcanine, that could go well. Mianxiao Arcanine could go well. However, I do need the Kabutops. I could just bring Arcanine Kabutops and... Man, I really want Donphan around for this one for some odd reason. Although that is dangerous. No, I'll go Arcanine Kabutops and Shuckle as the backdrop. So we'll lead with Arcanine and confirm that. It looks like a lot of physical hitters except for that Greninja and the Rotom. So as long as they don't open with Rotom, this could go pretty well. Or Greninja. I mean, Greninja is a legitimate opener. But we're about to find out. Now, what could I do about Greninja opening? Nope, that's Mianxiao. Mianxiao is a perfect opener for me. As I don't think it's going to pack anything for Arcanine. I get my Intimidate off. Now, it's probably a Regenerator Mianxiao, very similar to mine. Ooh, which means that it packs stones. Stones are obviously no good. Now, if I'm going to predict here, if they go with stones, my best bet would be anything but Shuckle, actually. But I'm really thinking about going into Shuckle, as they might be going for just a real quick fake out. Shuckle wouldn't mind the fake out too terribly much. Kabutops would. So yeah, I'll go for Shuckle, take the fake out damage, and then take the incoming Drain Punch is a guess. Eh, probably not a Drain Punch though. High Jump Kick. Well, isn't that just nifty? If I packed a Pokemon with Protect, I would be using it here soon. However, I'm just going to go for the Power Split, and we're going to see exactly how far Shuckle can get in this fight. Now, he goes for the U-turn. That might go terribly for me. We're going to see what he U-turns into. Because if it's something like Rotom, it's going to hurt my feelings. However, I will be able to knock off whatever item Rotom's carrying, which makes it a little less threatening. Is it Rotom? No, it's Reuniclus. That is actually really bad. So, I'm going to get an early game knockoff going on. It's carrying a Flame Orb. I'm actually half tempted not to knock it off. Especially, it could power trick me here. Or not power trick, it could just trick me. I'm going to go for the knockoff. I'm going to hope it doesn't trick. It does trick. Ah, oh, that's terrible. So I lose my berry and gain a flame orb. Ugh, nasty, nasty time. However, it might trick for that flame orb back. That's a crit, which is terrible. Ugh. Nasty, nasty stuff. So now, I'm going to go for the Stab Stone Edge. That should be enough to take Reuniclus out unless it buffs its defense here. Now it goes for the Psy Shock. I'm completely alright with that. It's a crit. Which doesn't really bother me too much. Ooh. Reuniclus. Looks like you've been beefing up. Behind my back, no less. So. Ugh. I don't know. Another Stone Edge, not looking too terribly good. Oh, I'm burnt. Of course this is not doing damage. I'm going to have to sacrifice Shuckle, which is not something I really wanted to do in this fight. But I'm going to go for it. They recover. Okay, so this is an awkward Reuniclus to me. Not due to the recover, but because it wanted... To burn itself. That's weird to me. I mean, I know it's only damage. Oh, it's not damage. It's magic guard. And now it can't be paralyzed. That's actually not a bad call. 
I like it. I like it a lot. So, I could power split to make my death a little bit more meaningful. But instead, he tricks me back my berry, which is going to give me an attack raise. Unless I decide not to eat it. That's confusing. So, I take the burn. And I don't eat my berry. Wasn't well, that awkward? So I'll go for another knockoff, even though it doesn't matter. Shuckle will be out of here momentarily. Yep, there's the Psy Shock. That should be, if it's not enough to kill, that's a shocker. There we are. So Shuckle's down, and I'm looking at being down a Pokemon against my opponent. Now, Arcanine is going to be the choice for this one, as my opponent probably wants nothing to do with me in this situation, if I had to guess. So, if they don't switch, I feel like a crunch here would make them feel pretty bad. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go for the crunch and see exactly what kind of damage I can get off. Boom. That's not half bad. So they go for a trick. I don't even remember what item I'm carrying, which is kind of funny. We get a flame warp, which doesn't matter. They get a rocky helmet, which actually does matter because I'm going to take a little bit of damage here. So I'm going to go for another crunch and take a little bit of damage due to the contact. However, my Rocky Helmet's out of play. Their Flame Orb's out of play, for the most part. And we get to tie things back up at 2. Now, obviously, I am concerned because I do recall that they have... Oh, who'd they open with? I know who they opened with. I just can't remember it right now. There's Greninja. So Greninja is hiding back there. It doesn't really, it doesn't feel like it would have anything for Kabutops. However, even if it does, what type can I hit? What type can I hit? Because I'm looking at Kabutops as the obvious answer right now. Earthquake, Stone Edge, Waterfall, and what? There's another move on there, and I know it. What do we got here? Oh, Rapid Spin. That's no good. Oh, but I got a Brick Break, not Earthquake. Ugh, nasty, nasty time. So, it's going to have a Grass Knot. I don't have any super effectives on Kabutops for that. So, I am going to switch into Kabutops, take the incoming Water-type attack. Not sure which one they're packing. I would have to assume... Oh, it's a Hydro Pump. This is not going to go well. As, even though it's neutral damage, it's going to be a lot of neutral damage. Almost enough to take me out. I'm going to have to hope that this Greninja is frail enough that a Stone Edge kills. Now, let's see here. Is someone knocking on my door? I think someone's knocking on my door. Alright, so I'm guessing that the nephews are here. One second while I let them in. <laughs> Alright, so, down to Kabutops. Obviously, Arcanine not looking to do a lot here. Now, what can we do about this? I don't think there's much that I can do. I do get the Intimidate off, although this is a physical Greninja. Or, not a physical. This is a special Greninja. The Hydro Pump's going to take me down. I'm going to Thunder Fang just in case it misses, but not a strong likelihood. Protean goes off, so it didn't miss. Actually, that's not necessarily true. However, that's a dead Arcanine, so we split one and one today. I hope you guys enjoyed that one. I know my nephews did. So, you guys have a nice night. I will be back tomorrow with two more, and hopefully some really major news. We will see. But, you guys have a nice one.